Hello, everybody. We're doing things a little bit differently than we normally do. We have some of the Opry live stream coming at you. That's going to be today's show. I hope you enjoy. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get it started. The following program may contain adult content. Listener discretion is advised. She grew up in the city in a little subdivision. Her daddy wore a tie. Mama never fried a chicken. Ballet, straight A's, most likely to succeed. They bought her a car after graduation. Sent her down south for some higher education. Put her on a fast track to a law degree. Now she's coming home to visit, holding the hand of a wild-eyed boy with a farmer's tan. And she's riding in the middle of his pickup truck, blaring Charlie Daniels, yelling, turn it up. They raised her up a lady, but there's one thing they couldn't avoid. Ladies love country boys. No mamas and daddies want better for their daughters. Hope they'll settle down with a doctor or a lawyer and their uptown ball gown hand me down royalty. They never understand why princess falls for some camouflage britches and a southern boy draw. Or why she's riding in the middle of his pickup truck Blaring Hank Jr. yelling, turn it up They raised her up a lady, but there's one thing they couldn't avoid Ladies love country boys, yeah train them you can try to teach them right from wrong but it's still gonna turn them on when they go riding in the middle of his pickup truck blaring leonard skinner yelling turn it up you can raise her up a lady but there's one thing you just cannot avoid Ladies love country, ladies love country, ladies love country boys. Yeah, I mean they love us country boys. Let's be my big old tractor, I don't know. There is Trace Atkins and his sultry voice. Hope y'all are enjoying. Welcome to Opry Live on Circle Network. We've got another evening of magic for you right here. Tonight, it's a little bit of country mixed with a little bit of faith, all served up by some outstanding singers, Trace Adkins, Jason Crabb, and T. Graham Brown. Here we are again, this empty big house without you guys in person. We miss you, but at least we can still be together this way right here. Now, we're going to share some great music. We're going to continue to work hard with the mayor's office and Vanderbilt Medical Center, who help us all stay safe so we can keep the music playing. In fact, the mayor of Nashville will be here a little later to talk about why this is all so important to him, to this city, and hopefully to you. Now, based on what I saw in rehearsal, tonight we're going to have some laughs, we're going to talk some straight talk, and we're going to hear some good country and gospel music. I think you're going to go wow a few times. It's going to soothe your soul. There is no better place to do what we're going to do than right here at the Opry, and no better friends to do it with than with these guys right here. Live from the Opry House in Nashville, Tennessee, Trace Adkins, Jason Crabb, and T. Graham Brown. Yeah, man. You know, Trace said he used to uh, sing this one in the honky tonk. I, I probably sang this song almost many times as you had. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, sit down, I need to talk to you. Then you do what you want to do. 
But just hear me through yeah. And darling Now you don't need no other guys Now when you gonna realize How much I love you Won't you pull my darling, darling? Go carry Mark. This is uh, surreal for us, uh, isn't it? Yes. Um, but we're, we're having a good time, and I'm glad to be here with two legitimate friends of mine. And uh, yes, sir, we're, we're staying away from each other, though. You More know. than six. I want to give you a hug, but I ain't going to. I don't, want, I don't really want to hug you anyway. Thank you. But anyway. <laughs> You'd hug me, though. I, no, I ain't going to hug you. I don't want to oh. hug you neither, T. Anyway, I'm glad to be here with T. Graham Brown, Jason Crabb, and... Um, we're, we'll, we hope you enjoy this hour that we're going to spend with you. And, you know, uh, the show must go on. Yes, sir. That, that, that WSM radio show's got to go on. Got to go. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, this is also my good friend, Jason Crabb, and he's going to do a song. This song's probably been done more times on this stage than any other song, I, I would venture to guess. Yeah. I, I bet, I'd just about bet on that. <laughs> anyway, like Jason Crabb. Thank That's you. all the life. I wondered so aimless, life filled with sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then, like a stranger, thief in the night, praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light. I saw the light. No more in darkness, no more in night. Now I'm so high. No sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Yes, sir. We're just like a blind man. I wonder. Fear and doubt I had claimed 
for my own Then like a blind man God gave back his sight Praise the Lord I saw the light Well I saw the light I saw the light No more in darkness No more in night Now I'm so happy No sorrow inside Praise the Lord I saw just like a fool, I wander the straight, straight is a gate and narrow's way. I gladly trade it wrong for the right. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Yeah. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more in darkness, no more in night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Yeah. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. <laughs> Tonight's Opry performance is in association with Shriners Hospitals for Children. All right, so you're watching right now. The first thing I would ask you to do is hit share on Facebook. Let your friends see it, too. If you're watching the Opry, it would be cool if they did as well. And, and right now, it's an empty Opry room. It's crazy because for these three, I think it's odd, too, because they're used to playing big crowds, either on the road or at the Opry. And they look out here, and I, I'm literally the only one sitting in the pews. And if you think about that, this place holds thousands of people, and there's just one guy sitting out here. And I... Like, I want to clap at the end of that, too, but I feel like that would be a little weird. One single clap, clap. But it's awesome. You're going to love tonight. I got to watch a lot in rehearsal. Uh, the mayor is about to, uh, I think he's walking in now, so he's going to have a little something to say in a second, too. And you guys can keep sending messages as well. So you have the feed. You know how to do it. So send a message, a couple questions. I would love to read them back for you guys as I'm doing this. We have one here that says, love that song. What a testament. Thank you very much. It's from Sonia. Also, Brittany says, I'm clapping from my bed, drinking a glass of wine. Love these guys and love their message. So, again, keep sending them. That's what this thing does here. It reads all your messages. I'm also watching the show, too. So uh, some of you guys have questions regarding last week's show, and you can still catch that as well. Uh, one of you guys asked what was on the back of my arm. So I'm from Arkansas, and we pretty much have the whole southeast represented here just about, almost. I'm from Arkansas. Uh, you got Louisiana, Kentucky, and Georgia. So we got we got four states over here. So yeah, the thing on the back of my arm last week in short sleeves was uh, the state of Arkansas. So I appreciate that. A lot of you guys wonder how big Trace is in person too. I can tell you. I think he's probably either him or Toby Keith are the two most physically dominating guys around. I think Trace is taller. They're both large guys and they both have a big presence. Uh, Trace is pretty quiet. And it's tough with Trace because you're like, does he like me? At this point, I know Trace well, and we've done a lot of things together. But Trace is super warm once he really trusts you. Uh, but Trace is a good dude, massive guy. Keep asking questions about these guys, too, because I've been able to spend a lot of time with them as well. So I'm here. We're on the feed. We're going to be walking you guys through it. Share this with your friends. We're glad that you're here. We're bringing you another night of the Opry. The circle remains unbroken. I'm Bobby Bones. I'm also up on Instagram. If you want to follow me, Mr. Bobby Bones, you can hit me over there as well. So... We're going over to the mayor in a second who is getting set in my old spot right there. Let's go over now to the mayor of Nashville, John Cooper. Mayor. Good evening and happy Easter. I'm John Cooper, mayor of Nashville, which is so honored to be the home of the Grand Ole Opry. Tonight is the 4,919th Saturday night broadcast. But tonight's show is the fifth broadcast without a live audience as we work together to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Now, without having the words to call it that, the Opry here pioneered the virtual community, extending the magic of the audience experience to millions, first through radio, then TV, and now the Internet. The Opry knew how to touch our hearts without having to be physically in the same room, and it's been doing that since 1925. America's longest-running radio broadcast has been a witness to our nation's history and been an important part of seeing us through. Country music has been our voice and our companion through so much, and it is...